This short little video is going to discuss how to graph an absolute value function. So first let's start off with the definition of the absolute value of x. It's x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and negative x if x is less than 0. So basically we're graphing a piecewise defined function. So let's start with the first piece. So that first piece, let's just focus on that, is x. So initially we can say our graph's going to look like y equals x. Now we have to identify which piece that's referring to, and that's only if x is greater than or equal to 0. So we want to cut off our function there. So when x is greater than or equal to 0, we have the graph of y equals x. Let's take a look at the other piece, which is negative x. Now we can graph y equals negative x very easily. Now we need to identify which piece this is. So we need to see which part of the domain we're referring to, and that's when x is less than 0. So we need to cut that off. And what we have is the graph of the absolute value of x. Many, most graphs of absolute value functions will have this v-shape, and it happens because we can't have a negative value out of an absolute value. 